so big at the Copacabana. Nah, but I'm really happy to be here, folks. I just flew in from Austin, Texas, and boy, are my little fetus arms tired. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Uh, you know the difference between me and a baby? Go ahead, guess. A baby is an air breather. Yes, that's right, I'm a fetus. I'm not an air breather, am I? I can't hear you, am I? No, I'm not an air breather, I'm a fetus. That's the difference between a fetus and a baby. Now, isn't that funny? It's really funny. You know, those righties keep calling fetuses babies, and this just really irks me. Why might that be, Mr. Fetus? Well, you see, there's a big old difference between fetuses and babies, i.e., babies are air breathers and fetuses are not. I hadn't thought of that. You might want to get a tattoo on an intimate portion of your body that says, babies are air breathers, fetuses are not. Ah, yeah, I think even I can understand that. <laughs> Come on, folks, let's say it all together. Babies are air breathers and fetuses are not. Babies are air breathers, fetuses are not. They call fetuses babies. They call fetuses babies. Yes, and that really irks me. You know, when you call a fetus a baby, that's Newspeak. 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 Newspeak, Newspeak was, was the fictional the language in George Orwell's novel, 1984. Newspeak, Newspeak was a deliberate attempt to dumb down the populace by simplifying their language. If you think about it, it's a lot like Fox News. A sure sign of political demagoguery is when people start using Newspeak. So, the next time you see an anti-abortion nut calling a fetus a baby, say to him, A fetus is not a baby, you twit! Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Austin's Astral Perry Logan in Stupid Republican Chair! <laughs> That's right, it's stupid Republican tricks, and one of these tricks is using newspeak. That is, using language for political purposes. It's a stupid trick Republicans have been playing at least for the last 30 years, and America is sick of it. Go, Republicans, they say, leave our fair land. Take your guns, take your prejudices, take your hatred of government, take your hatred of public health, take your hatred of Democrats, take your hatred of immigrants, take your hatred of women, your hatred of students, unions, people of color, Muslims, our gay brothers and sisters, did I mention liberals? In other words, everyone except the loony tunnies of the right with their stupid tricks. That's right. When you call a fetus a baby, you're using Newspeak. You can say that again, buddy. As speaking of fetuses, another stupid Republican trick is wanting to force women to have babies. Force women to have babies? That's right, Perry. It would be hard to believe if it weren't what's really going down on February 20th, 2014 where Republicans are pulling one stupid trick after another, one of which is the apparent desire to force women to have babies. Now, if you can tell me how we're going to have a healthy, harmonious society if we force women to have babies, shoot me an email. Shoot me an email. Dear Perry, comma, hard return, hard return. Yes, it's hard to believe that Republicans who say they love freedom quite literally want to force our sisters to have babies. Paragraph. This doesn't turn out so well, period. Of course, it's a ludicrous vision of America in which women are forced to have babies, period. The irony is studies worldwide show beyond the shadow of a doubt that anti-abortion, i.e. pro-life laws, cause the abortion rate to go up 
while liberal pro-choice laws cause the abortion rate to go down. Now, I want you to think about that for a minute. And while you're thinking about it, Perry would like to tell you a story. Once upon a time, there was a jolly, happy group of people who believed the Earth was flat. We're not talking about our brothers and sisters of the distant past, who had no way of knowing otherwise. We're talking about a modern-day organization, we're looking it up on the internet right now, which decided to reject the science that proved the Earth was flat. You have got to love these people. They were the flat earthers. Finally, in an extraordinary act of intellectual honesty, the flat earthers finally admitted when they looked at satellite pictures of the exceedingly spherical earth and admitted publicly that the earth was flat and disbanded the group forever. Yeah, the flat earthers were cool. And what do you think the flat earthers did? Rhetorical question, Perry. They became global warming deniers. That's right. The global warming deniers are the flat earthers of our day. As Secretary of State John Kerry has said, the global warming deniers are a bunch of putzes. They're the flat earthers of our day. In fact, I think the flat earthers dissolved and became the global warming deniers. <laughs> The flat earthers became the global warming deniers. That Perry Logan, he's a genius. <laughs> yes, but it's true. The global warming deniers are the flat earthers of our day. They don't like the science related to global warming, so they simply disregard it. How can people in the 21st century be so crazy? Well, you see, this is yet another stupid Republican trick. Hey, cut to the chase, man. What does it mean? It means liberals have almost certainly prevented more abortions than the entire right to life movement. And we didn't even have to kill anyone to do it. Dangerous show. We have like dangerous segues in this show. Hi, welcome to Stupid Republican Tricks. That was me like miming stupid Republicans, okay? We're focusing on uh, uh, one of the stupid tricks. Hey, I know this sounds partisan. Oh. I, I know this show sort of sounds partisan, but uh, there is advice. Yeah. Republicans, there's advice in this show. It's not just like me putting you down. Am I putting you down? Oh. Well, let's just say that's my way of thanking you for countless thousands of hours of disgusting hate radio. Right-wing hate radio. We ought to kill you, righties. We ought to kill you for hate radio. Arr, arr, arr. you for hate radio another stupid Republican trick is hate radio and you know as I like to say imagine if the left had done that if hate radio were something the left had done you know hate radio is just it's still with us it's millions or thousands okay hundreds I don't know hundreds thousands of uh, radio stations which do nothing but bad mouth their fellow Americans. This is what Republicans do, or the right in general. They have hate radio. They put it on everywhere, and all they do is like, you know, lie through their teeth about Democrats, lie through their teeth about liberals, lie through their teeth about progressives, okay? Whoa. That's hate radio. It's been going on for years. <laughs> in a just world, we would just like 
sue all Republicans. Uh, we would sue the right. Who wants to sue the right for hate radio? Hi, we're at a big rally. We're like all of a sudden we're at a big rally uh, of uh, Americans who want to sue hate radio. That was the stupidest trick ever. Well, but I'm not quite so bothered. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, as I was saying, I'm pretty sure that if the left had done, had perpetrated this, imagine a world in which the lefties had perpetrated all these just irritating radio shows in which they just like lie through their teeth about the other guys and badmouth their fellow Americans. Hmm. Do you think it's healthy? Do you think that's good for the public health? <laughs> anyway, if the left had perpetrated hate radio, I submit the right. Our rightward friends would have opened fire long ago. Damn straight, Perry! Ooh, I feel better. However, I hasten to say that like all stupid Republican tricks, uh, hate radio has backfired terribly. This is a sad thing about all this uh, Republican stuff and righty stuff and conservative stuff and libertarian stuff. It's the same damn thing. <laughs> well, uh, and, well, they perpetrated hate radio and I don't know what they were thinking. Uh, but I would just sort of guess they would think, this will turn everyone into a right winger. <laughs> I guess that's what the right thought. They thought soon everyone will want to force women to have babies. Ew. Soon everyone will want to hand social security over to the Enron types. Go righties! Stupid! Stupid! Stupid Republican tricks. <laughs> And hate radio was one of them uh, because, of course, it did not turn us into a nation of righties. <laughs> I guess that was the plan. It was make, make the left look bad by lying through your teeth about them. Mm, brilliant stuff. But I think the stats would show that uh, I'm pretty sure what uh, hate radio has done is create more Democrats. Oh, you repubs, I could just kiss you. <laughs> but I'm not. Okay, so <laughs> stupid writing tricks include things like hate radio, but it backfired. Hey, Flat Earthers, this stupid Republican trick of denying science is just gone too far. Here's some advice for you. When you find yourself denying most areas of science, it's time to rethink your bloody ideology, okay? When you are hiring right-wing think tanks, I said right-wing think tanks, 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 think tanks, i.e. kind of like intellectual prostitutes, to cook the science, to bloody cook the science. That's what a right-wing think tank is. Ah, ah. Ah. <laughs> I get so excited. But you see, uh, you know, like recently some top Republicans that were all running for president. Last time we were running for president, a whole bunch of Republicans were vying for it. They were all up on the stage there. I remember this clearly. They were up on the stage, the lights shining, and the moderator said, uh, uh, who here believes in uh, the theory of evolution? Aww. None of them! None of them! What a stupid trick! Guys, you're denying science. You don't believe in evolution. You believe the world is 8,000 years old. You think geologists are crazy? Or it's a conspiracy of geologists to lie about the age of the Earth? You people are just too much! Republicans, stop with this stupid trick. Is one of your stupid tricks is denying science, okay? They deny science because it disagrees with their ideology. Hmm. And so we're calling them the Flat Earthers. 
we're inspired by something that John Kerry really said about the, uh, the global warming deniers of the flat earthers of our day. However, I think that's a bit of an insult to the flat earthers who seem like they were pretty good Joes. <laughs> They were eccentric, perhaps, but you know, they were not screwing things up for anyone. But you see, the global warming deniers are seriously screwing things up. Even as I speak, even as I speak, you and I can both feel the temperature on Earth getting warmer and warmer. Why the suck it? Don't you understand? The global warming deniers are denying science. This is a really bad idea. It's kind of a good way to go extinct, huh? <laughs> and I wanted to. I wanted to calm down, first of all, here, and make the point that global warming denial, uh, <laughs> or climate change denial, uh, is actually a, 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 a crazy conspiracy theory. Yeah, maybe this instructional video will help. Global warming deniers, I hope you don't mind if I call you flat earthers. You must consider the outlandishness of your premise. You are postulating a perfect conspiracy of hundreds of scientists in dozens of countries writing thousands of papers in all languages to systematically reverse, that's reverse, millions of bits of data so as to show the opposite of the truth. If you saw this conspiracy in a movie, you'd ask for your money back. And by the way, who knew atmospheric scientists were all crazed lefty ideologues willing to falsify data to get their way? Who writes your stuff? Keep in mind, all this fakery you are postulating has been conducted without anyone spilling the beans. Even though a rogue scientist or disgruntled graduate student could make a fortune telling the true story to the press. <laughs> conspiracy theories are so dumb! Conspiracy theories are so damn dumb! <laughs> Thank you, Alex Jones. And this improbably perfect conspiracy has fooled everyone in the world, except for a small group of white males of a conservative cast of mind. <laughs> You know what I always say? A capitalist will sell you the hope you hang him with. It's much the same with the Republicans on all their stupid tricks. <laughs> ah, you can laugh along with me if you want. Come on, let's laugh along with Karl Marx. <laughs> in case you just tuned in, we're laughing along with Karl Marx. Now back to the show. Come on, flat earthers. You're propounding a truly ridiculous conspiracy theory. It's another of what Perry calls your stupid Republican tricks. You are also smearing quite a large number of scientists in the process. My friends, it's backfiring like all your dirty tricks. Meanwhile, the problem of global warming continues to worsen and we've got to do something now. The scientists tell us we've got to do something now and we can't do anything with Republicans playing all these stupid tricks denying science. We may lose the planet because of these people. Oh my God! Let's get out of here, Quim. Right, Zim? The two friendly aliens, Quim and Zim, flee Earth. Earth was once a lovely planet. Now they can't even have a Winter Olympics. Why, what do you mean, Zim? You know what I mean, Quim? Soon, there'll be no place on Earth where you can have a Winter Olympics. I know what you mean. The Sochi Olympics will forever be remembered as the Global Warming Slush Olympics. I tell you folks, how about the Sochi Olympics? What was that all about? I'm sure they're gonna remember this as the Global Warming Slush Olympics. Know what I mean? Perry! Yes, Mr. Fetus! How about those Sochi Olympics? Oh, they were the Global Warming Slush Olympics. They sure were! <laughs> you Americans are so screwed. These Republicans are screwing with you every which way. <laughs> but seriously, Perry. Yeah, little guy? 
What's the stupidest, stupid Republican trick? Saying Democrat when they mean Democratic. <laughs> now if I really fear it. Okay, okay. Now, I, I think maybe that denial of science is the stupidest one, you know. I always thought it was fairly obvious that scientists were the smarties in our society. <laughs> Not to get all class conscious. <laughs> I don't want to get all class conscious, but there are like people who think they're smart. Right, righties think they're smart. Righties think they're geniuses. It's, it's one of Logan's laws. The dumber the right winger, the smarter he thinks he is. Well, you know, watching Fox News is pretty damn dumb. I love uh, I, lo I love the folks at Fox, and they're uh, kind of cute. Some of them, <laughs> not all of them. Some of them are kind of cute, B but <laughs> well, the problem with Fox News, I don't know if you know this, but. There have been actual studies, and, and this is not me pulling your leg and being silly. There have been actual studies. Yes! Actual studies! And I've read about actual studies where they they'd simply quizzed people on their knowledge of current events. One of those. But they correlated it in this scientific study. There have been several of these studies, okay? And they will correlate, uh, you know, how your smarts on contemporary affairs with uh, your news source. They say, you know, what's your, where do you get your news? You, you get the picture. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> you Fox News people may not understand this, but apparently watching Fox News causes serious and permanent brain damage. It causes pustules and mucus and feces. Ah! Turidian moment, only one cure for that. This is Perry Logan with the Republican Stupid Tricks News. Yay! There's just an endless number of stupid tricks, and the latest stupid Republican trick to hit the scene is that they are like dusting off hoary old ideas from the 80s. <gasps> I've even written a song about it. It's called Republicans Stop Dusting Off Hoary Old Ideas from the Eddies. <laughs> well, that's what's going on. Uh, uh, the economy, the economy is not doing well. And the, the repubs are saying Obama destroyed everything. It, it's kind of like Republicans think that George W. Bush handed Obama a booming economy. Look, guys, I know Obama's been in office five years, and in a sense he owns it, but, you know, it's not like you handed him a booming economy and he blew it. <laughs> that was like what happened with Bill Clinton. He handed Bill Clinton handed George W. Bush a booming economy and a, like a history, a record-breaking surplus. And guess what George W. Bush did with it? Let's let George tell you. George, I fiddled away the Clinton surplus a diddly diddly day. I fiddled away the Clinton surplus a diddly diddly day. Watch this. Thank you, Perry. George W. Bush. Painter of dogs, George W. Bush, painter of dogs. Republicans, that's a stupid trick. You didn't hand Obama a booming economy. He didn't blow it. He just failed to fix the mess you made. <laughs> well, anyway, the Republican suggestion, you know, is uh, throw the Dems out. 
and dust off some hoary old ideas from the 80s, the very ideas that got us into our situation in the first place. I can't deal with it. Ladies and gentlemen, the Perry Logan Stupid Republican Chicks Band and the Perry Logan Clones doing a fabulous interpretive tramp routine. <laughs> Stupid! <laughs> Hey, Jim. Yeah, Tim. Are these really clones? Nah, I think it's some kind of special effect. You know, Perry. Now, what is that music? It's not music, really. It's Perry Logan's imitation of music. Better than music, really. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah.